my heart, even as thine, or such earlier words of loving. may rise out of occasion. Be heedful that thee, mine, wander not back to the world. Let it be steadfast to God. How beautiful. Okay. Next is 15 minutes of chores or whatever. And you have to state the task and continue in the presence of God. Gotta do the nuts and I gotta do the apple. Okay, the next task is to go to sleep for 15 minutes. Go ahead. The body needs it. The body's worked very hard today. Let's go. All right. Did you set the clock for 15 minutes? No, I will. Sleep. A marvel. A marvel. A marvelous creation. Last page of Brother Lawrence. Mm -hmm. If this way to the practice of the presence of God is not without difficulties at first, yet faithfully followed, it leads to the most marvelous effects upon the soul. Oh, isn't that sweet? The most marvelous effects upon the soul. Drawing down God's grace abundantly. Ooh. Drawing down God's grace abundantly. Insensibly, the soul becomes illumined and contacts the constant vision of God, loving and loved. Ooh, that's really nice, loving and loved. Mm, that's what's happiness, doesn't it? Loving and loved. This is the holiest, most real, and most inspiring of all manner of devotion. Well, whether it's most or not, it's good enough for us. than any other nation in the faith that man can advance without a faith. Midway between the skeptic
Montague and the brilliantly atheistic Voltaire. There stands in the range of French letters and philosophy the different and lonely figure of Pascal, mystically converted and trying vainly to stem the tide of irreligion and skepticism. For people. Next to the last paragraph. Beside him, almost unnoticed in his own time, there is this other constructive mystic, too humble to challenge the attention of historians or philosophers, yet author of a booklet, strongly circulated in countless editions and treasured through more than two centuries by pilgrims seeking a way back to faith and divine companionship. We seek divine companionship. We seek divine companionship. Saintly but unsated, saintly but unsainted, an educated, but a natural teacher of people. Brother Lawrence seems destined to influence increasing numbers of spiritual seekers as the age of re as the age of enlightenment which may better be termed the age of exclusively intellectual enlightenment is ended in the wars spread by skeptic individualism and enlightened thinking. Okay. This is it. This is the last paragraph. stated again and again, an idea that it might prove to be the key to regeneration of millions of individual people. Just before he died, he once more put that single thing, quote unquote, in simple words, quote, if in this life we would know the mean peace of paradise, we must school ourselves in familiar, humble, and loving converse with God. End of quote. Amen. 6 p.m. December 19th. The Sabbath before Christmas. 
Amen. Thank you. My deep gratitude. in the sanctuary at the desk. Jubilation. These microcassettes, these inspired thoughts upon these microcassettes. The exhilaration they produce listening to them riding around in the car, doing dishes, waiting to go to sleep at night. If awake in the middle of the night, playing them. Jubilation and happiness and gratitude. How do you distinguish from the old fashioned God first Meditate, him, and prayer, and the new meditation, the new 4.30 a.m. meditation. That's it. You just distinguish between them. They are full of love, and they are full of happiness, and we are full of thanks. On Christmas Eve, 2010. worried that I was going to be alone on Christmas. <laughs> I want to be alone on Christmas. I like being alone. Then I'm not distracted from the beauty and the greatness of God. Not that you should be. You should be with the beauty and the greatness of God at all times. Alone or not alone. Okay. Training, 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 practice, practice, practice. Krista, I love to be alone. But bless her heart, she doesn't see that. And so, when I am called, I go. I would much rather stay home on Christmas, which is our 56th wedding anniversary, I believe. We were married on Christmas Day, 1954. And I like thinking about Franklin and sending him thoughts and remembering his goodness. His goodness. But I'm called and I go. Tuesday night, I was called by Kurt to go to the blue service at the Dutch Reformed Church in West Kent. I did not want to go. Certainly not on a cold, dark winter night. But I was called, and I go. And so it will have to be. And what will you do on Christmas Day when you go there? You would just bring happiness. And be sure you don't talk about yourself. Maybe you should play games with them, the word game. And maybe you should play games with them from Buddha. What does this mean to you? Can you explain it to me? What other game? I think you should take biscuits. And I think you should take vegetarian smoked turkey. was listening to some of it for my God meditation. Are you going to do Jesus Christ? 
the pretty parts of it and eschew the violence that is in Christianity. Yes, ignore the violence and read the beautiful parts. Yes, I am. That will be it. You do not need any more than Buddha and Brother Lawrence and Jesus the Christ. There's no more. Master those. In the meditation this morning, it was good. There were 125 thoughts. And it was a struggle <laughs> to do the meditation this morning, the 4.30 meditation. First of all, I didn't wake up until 6.02 a.m. And then I had to take care of the olfactory need for the litter pan. And then I had to rush because of the elementary canal here and the urinary tract here. There is a conflict uh, that will have to be resolved. Uh, the 4.30 a.m. meditation is supposed to be the very first thing in bed, in the dark. But the elementary canal and the urinary tract have a different idea. And then I had to air out the house from the litter pan. And the, all three cats were concerned about the other end of their elementary canal, feeding them. And an enema, because we like the rectum to be spiffy clean. And then the ablutions had to be done right after that, and brushing, and water in, and water out. <laughs> so it was quite a conflict. But with all that turmoil, we did get in 20 minutes of the 4.30 a.m. meditation. Then we went to the sanctuary bed and went back to bed and did the other 10 minutes, so we completed it. Interesting. One thing you can renounce is talking about yourself. Yeah, that you can renounce. Don't talk about yourself. When somebody says a statement to you, uh, you respond to it and explore it in depth. Give them a chance to talk. Of course, if Judy Pohl calls there, nobody will have a chance to talk except Judy, and Judy will be talking all about herself. How I send a strenuous Pulse that Judy Polkall find the answer, the happiness, the oneness with happiness, that she find this answer. What is her problem? Usually it's money and leaning on people to help her. And her son David and the child out of marriage. The grandchild out of marriage. The landlord. And not paying paying the rent. Judy, go to God the first thing in the morning and get the answers and get the provision and get the happiness. Amen. Okay. It was rather a long prayer for the God first meditate him prayer sanctuary at the death meditation. That was rather a long prayer. But pulses of happiness to Judy Polkow and to David and to the woman, the mother of the child, not in marriage, 
and to the child. Nine, a rather eight thirty five AM Christmas Eve, two thousand ten. Now go on to the words. Thank you, Sebastian. Thank you. It's interesting how these cats sit right next to me. You know, they could sleep over in the bed, but they want to sit on the desk with me. We make sure these cats are happy. Okay, let's do the word. Tell the joy book. Joy book, we're going to do the words. And the first word is 121, and it's adjoined. And what does it mean, Franklin? Adjoin, 121, adjoin, to be contiguous with, to be in contact with, to be contiguous to, to be in contact with, to abut. Good for you, Franklin, you get an A. Mother, what's the next word? 122. Adjourn. To defer to another day. To prorogue. To What's the th third meaning? To prorogue. Okay. I don't have it either. January 6th, Epiphany. Alrighty. An apprentice. The divine inspiration. Dissolve. Dissolve. Okay, Father, Daddy, 122, adjourn, to defer to another day, to dismiss, to provoke. Glendora, 123, to adjudge. Here to decide, to determine judicially, to order or to decree. Let's see if you got it, honey. One twenty-three. A judge to decide, to determine or pronounce judicially, to order or to decree. No, you missed. Franklin. 123, to adjourn, to decide, determine, pronounce, judicially, to order or decree. 100% Franklin. Let's check the litter pan here. 124, mother. Uh, to adjudicate. Overmastering or supernatural impulse. Overmastering or well, supernatural impulse. Word 165. Divine imparting the Yes. 
Kitty cat, you're going to wear out your elementary canal. Eating so much. And going to the bathroom so much. Okay, and Judy Kate, 124. judicially and to act as a judge. to settle by judicial decree to act as a judge. Nope. Okay, whose turn is it? I think it's Dad's. To adjudicate, word 124. To hear, try, and determine judicially. Settled by judicial decree to act as a judge. Glendora, 124, to adjudicate, to hear, try, and determine judicially, to determine, to settle by judicial decree, to act as a judge. Franklin. 124. To adjudicate. To hear, try, and determine judicially. To settle by judicial decree. To act as a judge. Franklin, you got it. How many more minutes on the word? Another. 
125, adjunct, something joined or added to another thing, a person joined to another in service or duty, a colleague and associate. to our learning the words because it's cold without the heater and we need it. Okay. Lindor, see if you can say it. All righty, I'll try. 125 adjunct. Something joined or added to another thing. One person joined to another for a service for duty, a colleague, or an associate. I don't think I got it. Franklin, let's see. Adjunct, something joined or added to another thing. A person joined to another. some duty or service, a colleague or an associate, mother, word 125, adjunct, something joined or added to another thing, a person joined to another in some service or duty, colleague, associate, mother, you were the first one to get it. Dad, can you do it? 125, adjunct, something joined or added to another thing. A person joined to another in service or duty. A colleague, an associate. Dad, you got it. Lindora, let's see if you can atone. 125, adjunct, something joined to or added to another thing, a person joined to another in service or duty, a colleague, an associate. Okay, that's it. Franklin, what is word number 126? Sure. 
Four. Two. Line. Charge. Command. As if. Solemnly. As if. Under oath or penalty of curse. To entreat earnestly. Adjure to bind, charge, command, solemnly, as if under oath or penalty of curse, to entreat earnestly. Mom, you got it. Adjure hmm. to bind, charge, command solemnly, as if under oath or penalty of curse, to entreat earnestly. You got that? Now the next one is appropriate for you, Franklin. 120. A helper, an assistant. You were in the adjutant general's office. The adjutant's office. World War II. A helper, an assistant. between planets, perfecting people in kindness, hmm. no cruelty. They shall not hurt nor destroy on my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of God. Go. Isaiah 11, 6. September 2nd, 2010, Tuesday. Give my love to this great universe, not to myself. Uh, very good. Give my love to this great universe, and not to myself. Cool the material. Warm up to the spiritual. Cool the material. Warm up to the spiritual. Selfless follower of God. That was the phrase over and over again in Chini, Buddha. A selfless follower of God. Put it this way, Glendora, in terms you can understand. A selfless follower of happiness. You can understand that. God is vast in space and in time. Our mind is too little to grasp it, but we can grasp happiness. We know what it is, we feel what it is, we can see it, we can hear it, we can think it, we can do it. It's something that we can do. 
very good pure thought that came out of this pure thought binder.
taking care of everything I want in his own time, no cruelty. And that was on the 17th of May. Best time of my life, the happiest. Great. These eyes owe me nothing. I'm so glad that I can see it all. These eyes have done close-up desk work for 82 years. May 17th is, we thought, 2010. Full of the Holy Spirit. And it was the Sabbath that did it. And Let's go to the Pure Thought Binder for today. Lisa. Webster's Collegiate Dictionary, G.C. Merriam, Springfield, Massachusetts. 
Crawford Lincoln. Who dat? Who dat? That little orphan any dog. The day before she was adopted. The day before she found Mummy Lisa and Daddy Steve. Jane Dean took these pictures. Here's Mummy Lisa. <laughs> Here she is being doted upon by seven adults. That's Steve. And that's Glenny. And that's Lisa. You saying goodbye to Glenny? Yeah, you say goodbye to Glenny. You're looking at Jane Dean and you're saying goodbye to Jane Dean. She was so good to you. And here's Steve up here. Jolly Baker. And Lisa. Already in love with her. Already in love with little orphan Annie. We videotaped it, too. We were together 20 days trying to find her the ideal home. We made a lot of trouble. <laughs> Didn't she, kitties? And kitties were glad to see her find a home. <laughs> For other reasons. He was such an interesting personality. Her eyes were so appealing. Everything she did was appealing except the bad stuff. Thank you, Jane Dean. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. Thank you, Noreen. Thank you, bookkeeper. Thank you, assistant. It was the Sabbath that did it. And good sleep, I guess. The Holy Spirit. Yeah, there's no question about that. If you have a good sleep, you are filled with the Holy Spirit. On May 30th, 2010, Memorial Day, Sunday. God, you knew all these people. You knew Peter. You knew Paul. You knew Moses. You knew Jesus. You knew John Zebedee. 
You knew Brother Lawrence. And I'll add today, you knew Buddha. You knew all these wonderful people. I would love to have known them. I am going to fall apart someday. I am happy it is not today. videotape one of her instruction sessions. Nice, very nice to go on CAN TV. And she is a resident. Chicago city limits. Hey, 
anything else? Let's see, did you do any titles? No. To do? Titles. And this is very Wrap the camcorder. And tripod. Uh, uh, I would do a uh, Stonus, Matthew 19, Part A, 19A. Okay. I hope to do that today and tomorrow. All right. What do you have to do today? That I just mentioned. So. Move on, and then pure thought book. So the blessings of yesterday. We got up as far as the pure thought finder of yesterday. What was the next blessing of yesterday? I gave him. Uh, and then straight talk. Explore straight talk. This is the beautiful equipment that you made, God. <clears throat> the marvel of electronics. And Lundora has a call. I believe God has issued a call to understand this and appreciate the straight talk. So, 15 minutes a day on it, or 5 minutes a day on it. Okay, tidy the house. The happy house is so neat, tidy, clean, organized, and efficient. Order, no chaos. And then the 1980 started up better because it had been exercised the day before and around the loop with it. And the 1980 loves that. And so we don't have to charge the battery because we exercised it. We get it up to 40 miles an hour. Uh, 1993 started up. Let it run. Today, you ought to exercise it take it out on the road, and exercise the body. These are the blessings of yesterday, December 23rd. Then what happened? Telephone, 26 to 30. Excellent. Cronin call. Call him again. He's lonesome. He's sick. He's disabled. He's in a nursing home. Physical therapy. He doesn't know what's wrong with him. He really doesn't know. He never has known what's wrong with him. He can't walk. He can't walk. Something in the spine. And he doesn't know what. the next thing? After telephoning 26 to 30. No. 
don't know. Don't know. And then telephone. How many telephone calls have you made since Franklin went to heaven on October the 18th, 2003? Uh, 21,550. And today it will be 21,600. You better make a note of that. doing number eight in mail when Chris Slater called and asked if I was going to be alone on Christmas and I want to be but she doesn't know that I got the call Simultaneously with her letter asking the same thing. Beautiful printing. Blessings of the day. 
poorly and plan tomorrow. To sleep up about three times. Jesus, 
Uh, and then the prayer. And then the words adjoin to admire with the word game with Mother Franklin and my dad. Uh, we were all together on Christmas Eve, 1954. And pure thought binder. At 9.40 a.m. Christmas Eve. Joy Book. Now it is New Year's Eve. And a great thing happened. The cycle was consummated. Telephone calls 91 to run her 100. At 6.15 p.m., done. A room is gone and empty of a to do list. Three quarters of an hour before seven o'clock bedtime. A day of the valiant blue sky preserver. And it kept punching holes into that poison. Street. sky all day. And poison coming in from the northwest. And by itself, needing the help of ten blue sky preservers, it kept the sun shining. And prevailing over the dirty, smoky, murky hazes. A day I'm planning January 17th Civil Rights Day the third Monday in January for the dinner party of the trustees of the Glendora Franklin Living Trust for the preservation of the Pro Se Public Access Newspaper Museum. A visit with Daisy Dean, Husky Dog, Blue Eyes, and Jane Dean. In the exercise of the 1980 Lincoln, perfect operation, and running the motor on the 1993 Lincoln, and tidying the house, okay. and putting away purchases by Devin, the first monthly of January, the errands to Walmart at a cost of $500. Oh,